slipping from me overnight. Yeah. Bet it gets me, you gon' pay the price. Yeah. Down the business, I ain't playing nice. Yeah. So ahead of y'all, I'm out of sight. Yeah. When you pop in there, I want a slice. Yeah. Be the envy, that's a part of life. Yeah. Mediocre, that just won't suffice. Better, now than ever. Ain't no cracking under pressure. The boy is clever. If I did it, it was stellar. Nobody fresher. Stop complaining, man, my head hurts. These catchy records ain't nothing really but a walk in the park for me. Heard the catalog, you know I got some scars on me. Skin started, you don't really want to start with me. You need to mind. You need something like it's itching your nose. When you pop in there, I want to slice on the Greet the envy, that's a part of life. Yeah, mediocre, that just won't suffice. Keep myself grounded, that's a piece of me that I won't let go. No matter what level I reach, I promise to hold it close. Ain't got it. Stop my own kid, no one touch it. Became what they said I couldn't. Mediocre, that won't cut it. Life is a gift. I wanna live it to the fullest while I can. Why would I not wanna know my days in this game? Our number might as well enjoy the few years that I do have left. Who knows when I'm gonna write my last verse? I've been telling back ever since that first DP came out. Giving our two cents, but not listening. All living in our own world, thinking that we're right when the fact of the matter is a closed mind is the mind of an idiot. Don't believe that's true. Well, open it. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies, just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today, week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Denver Broncos. And off we go from Denver. And to no one's surprise here in Denver, that'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready. Check view. Set. On the ground, a 
Josh Jacobs to start the drive. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. This defense for the Broncos, they were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense. Here because if you back. give up 17 back. points a game back. all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course, but I have to say a very solid performance. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football, all right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Here we go. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Ready? They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Well, these two teams met in Vegas earlier in the season with the Raiders winning that ball game. So they're looking for the series sweep here in Denver. Ready, set. Second down and eight. Ready, ready. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Black block. Ready. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. From the 43, here's a second and nine. Ready? They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Josh Jacobs. Hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. You look at this Raiders defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. So yeah. prepping for this game, I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And those add up into big mistakes. Big mistakes add up into points against you. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. The Broncos at 9-6 and six now. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And a five-yard gain gets them to the 42. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's a second and five. Eight, eight. Eight. Two are going to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass.
ready. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Tua sets up to pass it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 45-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. On first down, Clark. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. From the 41, here's a second down at six. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. He finds his man complete. It's clear. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. That's going to be a good matchup for him. Using him out in the backfield and telling those linebackers, hey, you're not only going to have to try and run with him, but you're going to have to try and tackle him in the open field. Here's a first and 10 right, at the 14 go. yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Clark. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Watch it, Oscar. Brings up second and Let's go. At the 15 yard line. Caught here by Bell. So he stopped for no gain. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Come on, two. Come on, two. Come on, two. 20 TX. Yeah. Hey, 21 TX. From the gun, it's Tua. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Now Lutz for the field goal try. This a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good. And they're on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Ready, the Raider break, offense yellow, set learning, to get this drive white. started. Officer, this three, drive here check, beginning pink. probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time out look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now they'll run on the ball. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. After one, seven, three, the score. On the A Sports. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. 
And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 31 yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. To number 83, four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the Broncos 27-yard line. Second and six. Smith Red. On oh, the handoff, this is Jacobs. Down to the 25. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Let's go now. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you the empty the backfield, the people bring pressure at you. They manage to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Point after, right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Broncos three. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Denver offense at the line ready to go. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. 21G, 21G. Here's Tua. Complete, Richardson has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. good on the extra point and that makes it a 14-10 ball game after the touchdown Lutz to kick it off and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. You can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. Hurry, but right hurry. now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Ready, ready. Second down, Jacobs once more. And Jacobs is going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. But, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, 
they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. Here we go. Here so we go. from the 36 now, first and 10. Ready. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. And now they'll shift things around. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Set, ready. Fight, 97. Ready? Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And this time they were ready for it as they stop him right at the line of scrimmage. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. God, he'll hand this off. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved. Run the, the ball. Run the ball. They'll set up to throw. Toward the sideline, intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. And Charles, that's now four interceptions over his last three halves of football because remember, he threw three picks last week. Starting to wonder if maybe defenses and those coordinators have identified something on tape with what he's doing, maybe a movement, maybe the way he's moving his shoulders. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Ready. Hut, hut. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Being chased. And he's taken down. Trying to do a little too much. Getting outside of the pocket. And it results in a sack. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. The, double. the chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. They're going to look to throw. What an expected. Interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Broncos onto the field, ready to start their Fire, next drive. Whoa, whoa. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Watch an Oscar. Back to the air on second down. Tonga by Loa. Going for the deep ball. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They gave it a shot with the deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before right, the go. half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Ready, this time they stay on the ground and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line and they're going to take a timeout defensively so with fourth down coming up they go ahead and burn right, it on. and say we'll see what happens and likely time for one final play here in the half so they will go for it on fourth down and this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. One touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. For the fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. Ready. Denver offense at the line, Let's ready go. to go. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers. A little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, right. play all right, your Listen up. game. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and ten. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. They're going to hurry back to the line now. 32 stairs. Here's Tonga Vailoa on first and 10. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone. But they should now have Let's some go. sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Hey, hey, and go. again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It's third and ten. 20, TX. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 18. And now they're in the hurry up. On first down, Clark. And he gets it down close to the 10 yard line. Second down and three. It's a game of seven. Brings up second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Clark, and he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Call it a gain of 3, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety, being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, I think what we're seeing from the safeties. They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might be in this game. I like that. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. 
Give him three on the game there, second and goal. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Come on three, come on three, kick! To a fast pass outside complete. Touchdown! Three yards out. And the Broncos are an extra point away from evening this one up. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset of whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this is going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. 86 yards on the ground here for Jacobs, so this is a first down. to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that, but boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation, but they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on, or they're trying to show extreme confidence. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Down. Second down and six now. Ready? Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be down close to the first down marker as he gets this to the Broncos 26. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Buying time to his left. And he'll slip. 
slide to a halt here. Still a level shy of the first down marker. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave them with second and a yard. Pretty good first down play. Keeps them ahead of schedule, as they say. And ostensibly, they could go right back to it because there are multiple options on this play. Hand it inside. Quarterback tucks it and keeps it. Quarterback throws the ball downfield. You should be able to react to the defense and have an option available on every snap. Welcome back now to Denver. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Let's go now. Second down in the yard. Hut, hut. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. Looking for Michael Mayer on the play. And it's third and short. Let's go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, here we didn't go. they? They here did we go. indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Hut, hut. They'll look to throw here on first down. Flush to his right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. That nigga, that nigga his thing so hard. He ain't even finna call the time out. <laughs> oh my god! That nigga ain't even finna call the time out. Oh my god! He wanted that nigga. Cause he can't stop that. <laughs> That's why he wanted that lick. Oh. That nigga knew what time it was. Yeah, I would have melted it on. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> I would have died. I would have did that. Oh, fuck the ball. And they will take a seven point lead. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And it's day five for the five. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Tackle made by Tyree Wilson. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. On second down. It's Clark. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Looking to pass to him. He's got this one to Hutchinson. 
The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 27-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. All right, fellas, listen up. Throwing to a on first down. It's Clark. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here's Tua. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. This is first and 10. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Under 50 seconds to play. Here's second and 10. Tua. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. down fourth quarter here's Tua and it's intercepted at the goal line and the Raiders have just the game the brother this football game so a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with somebody the get the ball Somebody get the broom. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Somebody got the three off. Ready. Opposite. Green. Running is Jacobs. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Check pick. Ready? He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. And that touchdown, Charles, with very little time remaining, boy, it just sucked any energy and momentum out of the other sideline. 
Yeah, and take an incredible comeback in the final minute to bring this one back to even. A great series there offensively. They saw an opportunity to slam the window shut, and they followed through. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now up to 14. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Man, how this nigga ain't do this dumb shit? Here's first and ten. Water, load, load. Two and a throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Now Tua. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game, and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. One final try for Tonga Bailoa, finding Sutton. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Jacorian Bennett has it. And the Raiders come up with a late turnover. But it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. Well, CD, for the losing side, they have... Somebody get the ball. Swept the bag. Out of there. You out of the playoffs, nigga. <laughs> swap, swap. No 
don't want to do this and everything. Like I can get my legs back. I can get my legs back. I can get my fucking legs back. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I need to do these stuff. I can
Up in the cell at 17, back in jail with no bail at 19. Up the road with 11 to 20, made my first hundred thousand at 23. Now who is he or who is she to speak on my name when you ain't me? Why do you talking on my